All right, here we have a goodness of fit question that's a little bit difficult because it has to do with a binomial distribution. So let's see. Here we have a null and alternative hypothesis. The null is that the random variable x is binomial with n equals 4, p equals 0 0.8. Alternative, the random variable x is not binomial with n equals 4, p equals 8. So we're seeing if something follows some distribution. We want to know if the data that we gathered, the observed values, 138, 123, 440, and 389, if that fits a binomial distribution. So, uh, so the goodness of fit test, they give us the expected values, but I mean, it would be good to know how to get those. So the way you get those is you can, just to, for your own understanding, if you go to edit and you put the values 138, all the observed values, and then you go to stat, calc one bar stats on L1, we find that the sum of those values is 991, right? So there's 991 values that we get that we, observations that we found. Now, how did they get the one, all those expected values? Well, you probably forgot this, but the, if you go to stat, let's see, we go to distribution, binomial PDF, and you put in four. Why am I putting in four? Notice that we have n equals 4, p equals 0 0.8. So if I put 4 comma 0 0.8 and I don't put anything for the actual value, it's going to calculate it for 0 through 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 0 0.0016, 0 0.0256. Now if I multiply that times 991, I get my expected values. Because remember, the expected values formula are n times p. So when I did the binomial PDF, those were all my P's. So for instance, 991 times 0 0.0016 is 1.5856 or 1.6, approximately 1.6. That's how they got that one. So anyways, that's why they gave us the expected values, because that's a little bit tough to do. We don't have to, because they gave that to us. All right, so... We have the observed values and the expected values. So really, all we go to is stat. If we go to L2 and we clear all those values and we just put 1.6, 25, 4, 152.2, 405.9, 405.9. So those are uh, the observed and expected. Now when we go to stat, test, chi-square, goodness of fit, in L1 we can put, we put the observes, and in L2 we put the expected, right? So we go to done, degrees of freedom would be 4, because it's k minus 1. So if you count these, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, that's 5 categories, so that should be 4. So if I go to again, stat test, chi-square goodness of fit, with degrees of freedom of 4, I have the chi-squared test statistic is 15.65. It's correct. Degrees of freedom of 4. The p-value is 0 0.00353, so that's less than 0 0.005. What is the conclusion? We reject the null because the p-value is less than 0 0.005. I like that, 0 0.05. And then there is sufficient evidence that the random variable x is not binomial because we rejected the null so it's not but the null was that it's binomial all right so this data does not conform to a binomial distribution and that's it